it's Christy here. I haven't checked in in a while. Um, I'm hoping to come up with a great posting schedule and really try to share some of what I'm doing with you here on YouTube. Uh, one of the new things that I am trying to do this year is to do a better job of spending more time reading. I really love to read. It's such a relaxing thing for me. Uh, my favorite genre probably is young adult fantasy. Um, but I do like other genres and so I have several books that I'm currently reading right now and um, I have joined Owl Crate so that I can have even more books sent my way because one thing I am not the best at is keeping up with what's new what's coming out so I've joined Owl Crate and Owl Crate is a monthly book subscription plan this one is for young adult fiction not necessarily for young adults I'm definitely not one of those and several others that I watch on YouTube are not but it really is nice so every month you're gonna get a hardback book plus some goodies that are kind of centered around the theme so I'm really excited about it so I have spent a lot of time over the Christmas holidays uh, really thinking about what some of my goals were for this year and reading, of course, is definitely one of them. I want to do a lot more reading, but I want to track what I read. So I have joined Goodreads, and um, this box is tightly packed. Okay, I don't know if that's every month or just this one month, but I am struggling. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Guide to unboxing if you give two hoots, which is cute because it's owl crates. How cute. Hoot, hoot, hoot. Okay, so the theme this month is something to do with um, From Olympus with Love. I think that's the theme this month. It has to do with the Greek mythology. And I remember being in the sixth grade and I was in Gifted is what we called it. Um, we got to do all sorts of cool stuff. And I really don't know what the standards were, but I do know we did a big mythology project where we read um, Edith Wharton's mythology book and we read another one. And I still have both those books because I really just loved reading them. And I, <laughs> I remember we did this project where we had to find images from magazines, which that's really dating this because um, not a lot of people subscribe to print magazines anymore but we had to find these images for magazines to represent the different gods and goddesses and um, I remembered my older sister doing it so she's a couple years ahead of me and so I was super excited about the project and my grandmother loved soap operas and would get some of those soap opera magazines so she let me use those for my pictures and I remember scouring through the magazine looking for someone who would just show that great leadership and like he would be the ruler of all to represent Zeus or the most beautiful person for um uh for I just forgot her name anyway um so I'm kind of excited about this theme I did read some of the Percy Jackson series which I kind of felt like really brought some of the Greek mythology into today's time which Again, Percy Jackson is kind of an old book, really. So let's see what's in here. So here is, before I even get into this, this is so cute. This is a really cute box. So guide to unboxing if you give two hoots. Snap, photograph and film your unboxing experience. Share, show off your treats to the Owl Crate community and then snuggle up, get cozy and enjoy your new book. So off the bat, we see um, what I think is probably the spoiler card. So I'm gonna kind of put that to the side because I just wanna open up each one of these things and be super surprised. Okay, so we have an Owl Crate exclusive tea from Riddle's Tea Shop. It's Nectar of the Gods. So it's decaf. Um, this is awesome, we are big tea drinkers we don't drink coffee in our house um not a fan of coffee and so this is a nice uh, i'm looking forward to sipping on this so it's from riddleteashop.com really awesome okay next something fabricy. so it's phases of the moon i can tell that and it is a maybe it's a is it a banner or a pillowcase? No, it's a banner. Okay, yeah. 
okay I see okay this is really pretty I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get all of this on the camera I'm gonna try so we have this really pretty design and I'm, I'm gonna be honest I really don't know what this is <laughs> um but let's see I'm gonna figure it out because I'm gonna look at the spoiler card anyway but you have two Greek goddesses it looks like um, I would think this might be like maybe Artemis because she's got the bow and arrow but I'm not positive positive. and this one, this is cute this one is holding it's holding an owl how cute um, so yeah that's really nice and it has the phases of the moon broken down for each day and each month. That is really cool. Okay, next up is a banner. And I just don't have enough space where I'm at. Okay, oh, this is so pretty. Okay, so it's a blank banner, but it has this most, it has this beautiful leaf motif and it's gold. So it's black and gold, that is gorgeous comes with the string already on it oh I wonder maybe this is um, maybe I can collect pins to put on this I'm not sure that is really nice so I'm brand new to the owl crate community and I haven't watched enough of the videos but I know I've seen lots of videos where there's enamel pins that come in so I'm thinking maybe every month there's an enamel pin I'm not sure um, so if you know you can of course leave a comment below uh, but that is really really pretty so we have a Oh, this is the one that they teased about. Okay, so we have a wooden bookmark. And it is, when they teased about it, I thought, a wooden bookmark, like that's gonna be super thick. It is not. Seriously, this is, I can't even believe this is wood. It is so thin, but gorgeous. Um, so it has a quote on it. And there are rare moments when another soul dips near yours. As stars once a year brush the earth, such a constellation was he to me. And then on the other side, look at that. Oh, look how gorgeous that is. Um, someone holding a pomegranate, it looked like. And there's some gold accents on this. I would know him in death at the end of the world. That is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. It's so thin, I'm afraid I would break it but it's really pretty. Next up, we have a box. So, oh, and this is not, ooh, okay, so this is not even the book. Oh, it's such a pretty box. Okay, and I did see the back of it. It's a Hermes letter board. If you're familiar with your Greek mythology, Hermes is the messenger of the gods. And so the box alone is so cute because it has these um, wings. And specifically, Hermes is the messenger of Zeus. So there is the lightning bolt for Zeus. Use this mini letter board to create fun messages you can then display in your home. Favorite book quote, morning mantras, inside jokes, whatever your heart desires. Keep all of the letters in the super cute zipper pouch for easy storage. This is an Owl Crate exclusive. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Okay, I do love letter boards. And this one's a tiny one, so I feel like it's, oh, like, it's gonna be so perfect for photos. How fun is that? Okay, oh, look at that. Y'all, it doesn't take much to amaze me. So here's the zipper pouch. And that is so pretty. To be honest, I don't know if I will keep these in the zipper pouch because I actually have a letter board um, storage box where I could put all my letters. Um, and I sort them, this is how nerdy I am, I sort them by letter of the alphabet. So like all the A's go in one little container and then I just have to dig through and find the A. Um, so I might use this pouch for something else, but it is such a pretty, pretty pouch. Kind of made out of like a, felt material, I think it is felt, with something screen printed on it. Then it comes with tons of letters. Look how many letters. Oh, look at the little image. Okay, I'm telling you to look, but then I'm not holding it up. So if you've ever gotten a letter board before, you always have to cut your letters off, so just be super careful with that. But it comes with these little icons at the bottom. That is so cute, which of course I got it upside down. Um, really, really cute. Okay, and actually, that is on two of them, and then on the other, you've got this, and, oh yeah, two of those. And 
that looks like Maggie from The Simpsons. <laughs> it's just uh, not yellow. And then the letter board itself, it's a really small one. Um, and these are smaller letters themselves, but oh, it's horizontal. Look at that. Okay, most of the ones I get are this way and it's nice to have one this size. It's got the picture hanger thing on the back. It's super lightweight. In fact, I think I might keep this one in my room somewhere and just command strip it to the wall. That's so nice. There's a couple more things plus the book. I saw the book next, but I'm gonna put it to the side because that is kind of the star of the entire box. And I thought this was gonna be the book. But anyway, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Next we have the pin the okay so it says monthly enamel pin collection and this one of course it goes with the theme how pretty it says the eyes of the gods are upon you and it looks like Medu like it's like medusa's head but instead of her face it has that quote i'm gonna take that out so you can see it without all the um plastic so there is your pin all right, so I was thinking that they had a monthly pin collection. And so at the end of the year, if I'm subscribed for the entire year, this should have 12 different pins. And I'm thinking, of course, it's gonna definitely be themed around the book. So that's really pretty. Okay, so this is an interview with the author and it has some really pretty print. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Then we have the teaser for next month. Next month's theme is gonna be Magic Unleashed. Every February box will include a book tin designed by Forensics and Flowers. And that is the card. So that's exciting. I can't wait to see what that is. So this is the guide for this month. And first thing is you have the interview with the author. And the month, the book is an exclusive edition. So this is what it would look like if you bought it from any other store, but this is what the Owl Crate box looks like and it is a signed edition. Like, I didn't know this was gonna be in here. I don't know if this is, I don't know if I've seen this in other people's videos, but it's really nice that they give you some more background about the author and the tea shop. Um, they include like, further reading and just some different stuff to tie it in. That is awesome. Now let's check out the book. This is amazing. Okay, so one of the things that I was super excited about um, and was kind of a reason why I subscribed to the box is because the books each month are limited edition. They have special covers and they, um, like this is, an Owl Crate exclusive signed with by the author and then it includes a note from the author. So the story of lore, we visit a brutal world where Greek gods are forced to walk the earth as mortals and face the bloodthirsty descendants of ancient bloodlines. That is really cool. Okay, so yeah, this is, um, I had heard a lot about this book, which I wanna say, um, is this the one that Disney was producing? I'm not sure, um, but, when I read the description of what this month's box was going to be, I was like, that sounds like lore. And I have this list on my 21 to read in 21. So I'm super excited about it because then I'm going to be able to knock it out. I'm trying to find my scissors. It is shrink wrapped. So I'm just going to kind of cut that open a little bit without damaging the book because I want to look at this gorgeous dust jacket. So I'm not gonna read the note because that's one of the perks of being a subscriber or purchasing the book, but it is something from the author, which is really nice. So I'm gonna put that aside to read later, but it does include this beautiful artwork of the book on the other side. And then here is the book, it's so soft. Have y'all ever gotten a hardback book before? And the dust jacket is just that nice matte, soft. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, and it does have some gold foiling here. Or it does have some gold accents in the title. And it is honestly a gorgeous book cover. The original one, the regular book cover looks just like it, but it's, it's uh, white. 
but this one really makes the character here pop or the um, image here pop and when you open up the book you have a beautiful map okay I'm a sucker for any kind of maps I love it when books include maps um, of the locations that are mentioned in the story oh and this is really signed like this is a for when I first saw this I thought um that looks printed but you can see it bled through so I really actually have an autographed book Oh, this is so cool. This is such a gorgeous book. And then there are some images kind of throughout carrying on that um, kind of marbled look that you see on the cover here. Oh, I cannot wait to read this book. It is a big old book though. Oh, gorgeous. Okay, and then on the other side, is it the same map? Yeah, it's the same map on the other side. So it's a map of New York, because here's Central Park, the mall, um, but then you see some of the main places. With, and so I think that's really cool, because this this story is gonna combine, uh, it's gonna place a, a fantasy element, but in the world that we know today. So really cool. I am super over the moon excited about my first box from Owl Crate. Um, and I can't wait to read the book. Uh, so definitely don't leave any spoilers below, but if you've read this, I just want to know your general opinion and I'm going to put my Goodreads name down below so that we could become book friends on Goodreads and keep up with each other and what we think about the story. So thanks guys for checking in and watching my video of my first Owl Crate unboxing. I can't wait to see you soon. Bye.